Hey guys, it's Jen. Hi. Um, so here's my idea. I have been thinking about other ways to um, really stay connected outside of just social media and outside of just the challenges that I'm putting on or other things that are coming up. Obviously events are always great, but I, uh, in meeting all of you at my events on the road, the number one thing I hear is, we just need more Jen. We need to see more of you. What are you doing? How do we stay connected to you? And so this is how I'm going to do it, at least in one way. Uh, I'm going to be posting weekly content. If you've seen some of the other posts on my blog, you'll kind of see some great tips and information. But um, in, each, in each week, I'm going to tackle something different. And specifically this week, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about maintenance because of the relevancy around my oxygen challenge, which by the way has just completed. So if you're one of those people uh, that is close to the end or just finished, congratulations. I, I had such an amazing group of men and women do this challenge. We had a ton of success. And the good news is that you can still do the challenge. All the information is up there with oxygen and you can loop in, sign up and still do the program, just not alongside the group obviously, but it's pretty amazing. Um, but it's brought up a lot of questions, right? It's brought up, brought up this question of, well, what's maintenance? How do I, I've gotten to my goal now, what do I do? And everybody's kind of starting to spaz out. So, uh, which is fine because I spaz and there's no judgment here, but I do want to talk about that. And um, I think there's this weird scarcity that, oh my gosh, we've completed this goal and now where does it go? What do I do? Oh, I need Jen to do it. I'm going to freak out. So what I don't want you to do is freak out and I want you to let you guys know that I am here. I'm going to be in your corner, but a big part of your success is taking ownership for what you've completed and what you've accomplished. It, it wasn't, I wasn't doing the sit-ups and push-ups. I wasn't doing your meal prep. You did that. So please acknowledge the accomplishment and yet know that the relationship between us is important, is valuable, and will continue to help you sustain. Hence, why I'm doing this vlog today. So um, for those of you that didn't do my oxygen challenge, this is still valuable for you, and let me tell you why. When it comes to maintenance, there's two ways to really look at it. Maintenance is a way of saying, hey, I'm very much at my home base goal, I'm happy, I'm good, and that's important, right? Um, but it's also a great place uh, for your body to build trust with you, whether it's for the first time getting into this movement and body change, or even if you already have been doing something and you've, um, you're kind of resetting for maybe the next drop. So let me get dig into that for a second. So look at, look at your body um, exactly as it is, right? It's like almost like another human being um, that's trying to build trust with you. And what I mean by homeostasis and what a maintenance program can provide for you is trust. Your body's willingness to trust you. And we do that by creating baseline support at three very clear levels. That is sleep, that is with your nutrition, and that is with your hydration. At the end of the day, if your body doesn't believe you that it's going to get enough water, food, or sleep, it's going to start to restrict and say, well, screw you. Um... I don't know when Jen's gonna feed me again, or I don't know when my next meal is, or even worse, if you're actually getting food in and it's not quality food that your body can't utilize, then it's even more upset. So what starts to happen is your body starts to live in scarcity and starts to uh, not just only wanna not trust you to lose weight, but actually start to hoard it because your body is smarter than you and it will do that. So what I want is if you're, if you're getting started and you know you have goals in mind, Creating a homeostasis, a home base with your body is critical for not just immediate success, but long term. Because all we're doing is we're starting a new relationship with your body, saying, hi body, hi Jen, I'm going to take care of you. And when you do that for your body, your body will listen to you, will take care of you back. I hope that kind of makes sense. Now the other component that's really important, if you're someone that's already lost weight, um, for instance, if you've come off my challenge and you are major, um, uh, you, we've had any level of weight loss. It could be 10 pounds, it could be 15 pounds, it could be 35 pounds, it could be inches, because uh, sometimes it's the inches that move, not the scale as much, because muscle does weigh uh, more than fat. Your body is like, whoa, like what's going on in here? Uh, who moved my furniture? So what we have to do is give your body a chance to just like look around, be like, okay, we're, we're different in here, because when you have any kind of weight loss exchange, your hormones shift, 
the amount of water you need will shift, the amount of fuel and the responsiveness your body is to that fuel shifts. So everything scatters. It's almost like having a stack of papers and the wind just blows all over the room. We need to give your body an opportunity for it to just settle in, let the, the papers or the dust settle, so to speak, so it starts to trust you again back in that homeostasis. So what I like about this, I've already done a download week for my program for the Oxygen Challenge. Um, I was gonna uh, put this through my newsletter, but I'm actually having some trouble with my email service. So I'm gonna post the three weeks of maintenance up on my uh, Instagram and Facebook, all my social media across the board this week. So you can see what a three week stabilizer can look like from a physical, um, uh, standpoint as well as some nutritional input I'll make sure I put there so keep that in mind whether you're creating homeostasis or trust in the first time or restabilizing your body your body it's gonna be critical for any kind of uh, shift in your body and more importantly for a sustainable permanent shift there's only one other thing I want to talk to you guys about and that is the this hidden opportunity of mental reframing what starts to happen now is when you're going for a goal every workout's got something on it right it's like I got to burn the next one of calories I've got to post this sweaty selfie I've got to get this food in to do these things to drop the weight to da -da 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 -da, or to build the muscle or oh. and it starts to get a little bit like tight up here and a little bit dark and what starts to happen as you're so busy working for cause and effect you're not allowing the movement to just be great medicine for your body to just feel good to move because you want to move to move because I know for me I'm less irritable and I'm more creative and I end up cooking better food and eating better food right um, so what I want you to use this is this opportunity I wrote down in my little list as mental reframing opportunity so look at this three weeks of maintenance, cut yourself some slack, don't, be, don't look on the scale every second, move and eat well and sleep well because it feels good to do it, right? Because now then I'm getting an opportunity to work with you on making this health thing actually a part of your life. Not just something you're doing over here, not just something you're doing as part of a challenge, but something that's a part of you because you are a, 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 a this truer version, this better version of you because you're giving yourself the opportunity to reinvest back into yourself. Um, it's something that I personally struggle with and that's why I can tell you with such confidence the difference it makes. So let's get your body to trust you again restabilize if you've already had a great shift and congratulations if you're there you've got evidence now of your body's willingness willingness to trust you and then use this as a mental reframing opportunity to see workouts on as punishment and as things to do but it's part of your life and um, and just keep in mind too this maintenance program will be focusing on weight training um, not, not a lot of cardio uh, to me you have to guys realize right now I want your muscle to that you've built during this challenge or uh, even if you're beginning to be the foundation of what burns calories, of what utilizes your fuel, and as I always say, muscle pays for the party, so that will do that. Um, okay, that's what I got for you. Uh, I will be posting here weekly, whether it's one of my Q and A's or uh, a, a vlog on something that's really kind of relevant to me, what's going on with my programming with you guys. Um, and if you want to hear more, please subscribe. If you go to my homepage, just hit that subscribe button, toss in your email, uh, and I'm gonna be uh, putting out uh, bi-weekly content for you guys and support and also let you in on some other stuff. So that's it for now. And oh, I pulled a little off the mat card. This is perfect. I list was at the top of the list of what I pulled. It says, better you go less deeply into a posture and stay in good alignment than to push farther and fall out of balance, right? This is a yoga on and off the mat card. I love these things that what we're telling you is saying, don't overextend, don't overdo, don't fall out of balance by trying too much. So use this maintenance time to be in this posture of health, right? Um, in a one that you feel confident and in control of so that you can go farther uh, even the next round. Okay, that's it. Talk soon.